I was waiting for my husband as it is too late. I didn't even eat anything since evening. Even though he don't love me, I care for him so much. He always busy and talk barely to me, which hurt a lot. But I didn't show. I don't have any problem to being in a mafia as I also belong to mafia. Family, we both were arranged to marry. I accept the proposal as I know my father will choose best for me, and I also can start loving him when I first saw him. At first, I don't mind his cold behavior, thinking that he is a mafia, so he must have this behavior from starting. But now this is getting so much. I try to understand him, but he never ever did. I am so lonely all day long. I want to share things with him. Want him to love me the way I love him. The way. I adore him and me him. It been two months since our marriage. I quickly get up when I see door opening. I smile a little when I see Jungkook. I went to him and take off his coat. Jungkook, why are you awake? Why? I, I was waiting for you. He nodded and then he went and sit on the couch. I take the glass and pour the water from jar and give it to him. He take a sip of it and place it on table. I went and sit on the front couch from one house a day. Jungkook, hmm, it was fine. Wan, get fresh. I heat up the food for you. He hum responds and left. He is bit different today. As usual, he said that he eat outside. That's nice. I hope he will change himself. I smile at my thought and left to kitchen. I place the food on table after heating it and sit on the couch. After some time, Jungkook come down, moving his hand in his hair. I blush as he was looking so handsome. I can feel my cheek burning. I look down so he won't notice me. He come and sit on the nearby seat from mine. Jungkook, why only one plate? Why I, I will eat later. Jungkook, just eat it now and don't wait for me till late. Uh, is he is worrying about me? I bite my lip while still looking down. I hope this is what I am thinking. I look up at him when he say, Jungkook, be ready at tomorrow evening. We are going to a big party. Why in party you say? Is this a mafia party? Jungkook, yes. This is the first time he asked me out. I won't lose this chance. At least I can spend some time with him. Wan, I will come. Smile. After some time, I and he finish our food. Then we left to our room as we live separate. Next day, I wake up and sit back. Then I went to do my morning routine. After some time, I come back and then I went downstairs to cook for Jungkook. I left my hair open because I don't have time to dry them. I take the vegetable and start chopping them. I stop and look up when I hear Jungkook shoes sound. He come inside the kitchen and take the glass of water from fridge. I again start working. Jungkook, I'm on holiday today. You don't have to cook this early. I was so shocked that he is on holiday. I look at him for about five seconds while blinking multiple times. Then I again look at top vegetable. Wan, I have to cook. I already chopped them. Are you sure that you are not going today, Jungkook? Why do you have some problem? If I stay home, why? No, no, it's not that. He sighed and went away from there. I look at the vegetable. I should make the food. If I want, then this vegetable will be waste. I knock at the door and come inside. He was scrolling his phone. I went near his bed and say, "Why? The breakfast is ready. Come and have it." Jungkook, I'm not hungry. Why? Oh, okay. I say and laugh. Is he is going to stay in his room for whole day without coming out and spend time with me? I sang lightly while thinking of all this. After eating my breakfast, I come inside my room. Then I throw myself on bed as I have nothing to do now. Maids will come and clean the whole house. What should I do now? I don't have any reason to see him without any excuse. I think for some time then an idea pop in my mind. Should I ask? Him which dress I should wear today, and then I show him one by one. Oh my God, why are you are so intelligent? I quickly get up and left to his room. I come inside and see him laying on bed. Is he asleep? I sigh, thinking that my plan ruined. I start going back, but stop when I hear his voice from back. I turn to him and see him sitting already. Jungkook, what do you want now? Why? I I want to ask you, what should I wear? At today party, I'm confused. Jungkook, wear whatever you want. Wan, can you please help me in choosing dress? Jungkook, all right, do whatever you want, but fast. Wan, oh okay. I went to my room and come back waving. Jungkook, you are going in mafia party. Wear something long. It not your friend party. Wan, oh okay. Left. 
I look at Jungkook. He didn't even blink, seeing me in distress. Am I looking that bad? Jungkook, th that's alright. Where's the set party? I smile. Thank God he like it. Fine. So this is final. At party. I was now drinking the juice with upset mind as Jungkook left me alone here. Suddenly a man come and sit just beside me. I move a little far from him. But then he touched my hand. I jerk his hand and say, Vine, hey mister, stay away from me. Oh really? What is the beauty like you doing at the dangerous place like this? He said, coming close to me, I stand up and start going from there. My eyes wide and when he ripped my dress, but fortunately, it just tear a little. He pulled me to him while I was struggling to get out from his grip, but he was so strong. There were few people there, but no one helped me. I start crying badly, and within a blink, that man was laying on floor and Jungkook start punching him without showing any mockery. This is the first time I have seen him like this. He was looking so dangerous, just like a beast. Tears start forming in my eye. I shout Jungkook name to stop him as I am scared. He stop and look at me. I keep on sobbing. He come toward me and grab my hand and then he take me out from the party place. He bring me out near the car and leave my hand. Then he bang loudly on car making me flinch badly. Jungkook, why did you let him sit beside you? I look up at him in disbelief. He is calling me for the thing I didn't even did. Why, why are you shouting at me, Jungkook? Then do you want me to praise you? Do you know what would have happened if I wouldn't have come on time? How can you be so careless? You even let him touch you. It's just because I never give you love, so you went for other man. His words were piercing in my heart. Tears were continuously falling. Why, do you know what are you saying? Don't behave like you love me when you don't. You just love your damn mafia life. I always wanted you to be with me, care for me like I did. Till now. And what do you did? You are blaming me for flirting with other men. Do you think of me as? How can you? I never thought you were like this. I said and start crying more hardly while still looking down. I look up when I see him getting in car. Then he left me here. While I was just looking at the car which soon disappeared, I fell down as I was feeling so weak. I did nothing but just keep on crying. Was my care and love was this for him? What did I ever deserve to be like this? After crying for some time more, I get up and decide to van back to my father's house. I will tell him that I was passing by so I decide to visit them. But before that, I have to wash my face. I start walking. But the heels were itching, so I take them off and keep on walking barefoot. Suddenly, two cars stop in front of me. I follow as they were not Jungkook car. I was about to run from there, but about four men run after me and grab my both arm. Then one of them placed cloth on my mouth. Then everything went black. Jungkook POV. I stopped the car after coming little far where I left wine. I grabbed my hair in frustration. How can I say such thing to her? She was hurt because of me. But I was just worried about her that I didn't even think twice and shout at her and say something bad to her. She didn't know I love her too because of my cool behavior. I never show but I am like this since childhood. I am trying to change myself but still I can't control my anger. I should pick her back and apologize to her before things get worse. She did not went far away till now. I have to be quick. I turn the car and start driving fast at high speed. Next day, Vyan POV. POV. I slowly opened my eye. Everything was blurry. I look around. I was in an unfamiliar room. Then I realized I got kidnapped last night. I was about to sit but I can't as my hands were tied over my head and my legs were too tied up. My eyes widened when my view went toward my clothes. I was wearing lingers. Nearly my whole body was visible. Tears start forming in my eye. Only person I was thinking about right now was Jungkook. If he wouldn't have... Leave me there, nothing will have happened. I look at Do when a man come inside. He looks fully look at me, which make me feel so embarrassed. I want to kill myself right now. He come and sit beside me. Why but please leave me. I didn't kidnap you to leave you. I'm jealous of Jungkook. He has such beautiful wife. I want to take his position, but now I can leave them all. Now as now I get more beautiful things. Why uh, stop with your nonsense, just leave me. I am waiting here for Jungkook. When he come, I will kill him. Then his position and wife both will mine. By the way, you have such a nice figure. I want to have you. Why and shut up you? You can't even touch him. And don't you dare to come near me. 
My eyes widened when he started coming close to me while I was trying to untie myself. But it was no use. He was about to hurt me. I tightly closed my eyes as I am feeling shame on me that this is going to touch me. But then 